Now, at the FIFA World Cup 2022, controversial Islamic preacher Zakir Nayak has arrived in Qatar upon invitation. Zakir Nayak has been banned in India for hate speech and was accused of money laundering. According to social media posts, he will deliver religious lectures throughout the competition. I'm crossing over to CNN News 18's foreign affairs correspondent Abhishek Jha to get us more details. Abhishek, it's interesting to note that this is taking place because India is going to be celebrating 50 years of diplomatic relations with Qatar next year. Why would Qatar make this move right now? Uh, so clearly, uh, this is something that Qatar uh, and India uh, will have to see how the relationship is, is get impacted with this uh, invitation to the uh, to this preacher uh, Zakir Naik, uh, who has been accused of hate speeches and money laundering in India. In fact, there is a extradition uh, request also pending with Malaysian government, where India has sought uh, his uh, uh, detention. And uh, uh, but now we so we have seen that in Qatar uh, the football World Cup, there has been multiple controversial. Uh, the, uh, incidences in the recent days uh, where uh, there was uh, initially LGBT uh, issues where the uh, Qatari government had to uh, succumb to the pressure and then also other other uh, freedom uh, of movement and human rights violation. These were the issues that were made to look uh, Qatar in, in, in that, that context. Uh, but now with the, with the latest news that we are getting that uh, Zakir Naik, who has been clearly uh, accused of hate speeches and money laundering, is a clear offender of by Indian uh, Indian law. Uh, in the light of Indian law, uh, is invited as a as a dignitary, as a guest, and he's going to preach there throughout the event. Uh, and th this is not going to go down well with the Indian diplomacy. And uh, we can assume that uh, somehow it will be uh, the, the Qatari uh, government will have to answer this also. That why Zakir Naik, who's, uh, who is who uh, is a clearly offender. Uh, has been invited as a dignitary at Qatar FIFA World Cup. Abhishek, so essentially he's been invited to deliver religious lectures throughout the competition. Is this not strange to note that he has been asked to deliver religious lectures? Is there any precedent for this in any other previous FIFA World Cup? I think uh, Zakir Naik, as an Islamic uh, religious teacher, has a has a huge fan following this. In fact. In all of the, most of the Muslim world country, his fan base is there. Uh, he's in Pakistan, there is a huge fan base of him. Uh, so, but since uh, he's an offender in the, life, in the eyes of Indian law, so in that context, he becomes a, a, a person of interest, uh, or a person of concern for India. Uh, but uh, in Malaysia also, he's been uh, moving around and doing his activity of preaching Islam and uh, religious uh, sermons. Uh, so... Probably this is why Qatar has Qatar government may have extended an invitation to him as a dignitary where he can come and preach about Islam. Zakir uh, claims to uh, claims to uh, preach Islam in a more modern way, more rational way, and link it with uh, link the uh, history and past of Islam with a modern lifestyle. So in a way, he has been a modern scholar, uh, but uh, his hate speeches, uh, his uh, uh, his support of uh, suicide bombing uh, by Islamists and in some speeches, he has also uh, kind of supported the bombing or demolition of uh, temples in Pakistan because uh, he has said that this, this is forbidden. Uh, so in, in that context, he becomes a clearly offender mm -hmm. uh, for the Indian people and uh, in, uh, in, the, in the light of, in the, in the eyes of Indian law. Uh, but there is still a huge fan following base and probably this may have, uh, uh, you know, in a way, encouraged to uh, extend an invitation as a dignitary mm -hmm. uh, to that night where he would come and preach. All right, Abhishek, thank you so much for joining us and for giving us that information. Right now,